This is James Hendricks with the Black Sheep Reports. Men are facing a full frontal assault on their rights, health, and culture like never before. The war on masculinity has never been so brutal, but it's not a war being waged by women. The attack is coming directly from the top as the establishment desperately attempts to emasculate and empower men to order to force women to be dependent on the state, thereby enabling more power to be centralized and aiding the growth of bigger government. Here are four ways masculinity is under attack. Number one, the falling fertility rate. Sperm count among men have significantly decreased over the last half century, in particular over the last 25 years. In some European countries, sperm count has dropped by as much as a third since 1989. Part of the fall can be explained by exposure to pesticides. Research shows that underpopulation, not overpopulation, will be a major crisis in the 21st century as a result of human failing to achieve the replacement rate of 2.1 children. Number two, the, the, there's not a positive masculine role model. An example of a positive masculine role model that young men can look up to, you cannot find that today. This, the entertainment industry routinely portrays men as clueless and bumbling oafs. At the best, think of Homer Simpson, everybody loves Raymond, married with children, or at worst, an aggressive sex predator like in Two and a Half Men. Since advertising is primarily aimed at women, men in commercials are also now routinely depicted as either being emasculate losers or stupefied morons. Young men consuming this content grow up thinking that it is acceptable and even encouraged to aspire to these character traits. In doing so, they are robbed of their national masculinity and find it extremely difficult to attract well-rounded women who are rightly disgusted by such behavior. The entertainment industry is largely controlled by men and again, this fact that this assault is top-down trend that has little or nothing to do with a gender war. Number three, the privilege trap. You know, the, the statist, the feminists use this a lot. The mouthpieces in the media and the establishment claim that Western men, in particular white men, cannot express a valued opinion on any issue related to any way a minority such as feminism or immigration because they have privilege the privilege talking point is a stunt used by liberals and feminists to attempt to shut down free speech and, it, and it, what it is is just a notion that men viewpoints has no value because of the color of their skin or his gender or his co country of origin this is inher inherently racist position, yet it is routinely used by leftists to shut, uh, shout down, uh, shut down their political opponents. Last, the one I hear the most, the men are paid more myth. The establishment promotes this myth that men are paid more than women because of discrimination, feeding into the f feminist doctrine about a particular system opposing women in the workplace. In reality, the wage gap of the 19 cents between the two sexes in the United States is explained by a number of reasons that have nothing to do with discrimination, including the fact that men work more hours and men seek less desirable jobs that pay higher. As a result, men account for nearly 93% of workplace deaths, despite only 54% of the workplace workforce. 94% of workplace suicides every year are also men. The establishment buries these shocking facts of the high male workplace fertility figures because they completely contradict the myth that the jobs market discriminates against women. This is James Hendricks with the Black Sheep Report. Subscribe if you're new. Links are below and don't forget to check us out on Facebook. Our page is Media on 9-11. Thank you.